Hey everybody, it's Pastor David from Walden Community Church. Hey, I just had a, a moment just to talk to you a little bit about just the season that we're walking through as a church community. You know, right now we're in the season of Lent. This is the time uh, before the cross, time before uh, Palm Sunday, before Easter, right? Where we're thinking about the journey that's leading us to the cross, the journey that's leading us to Easter. And so there's a really great passage uh, in Colossians 2.14 that says, by canceling the record of debt that stood against us with its legal demands, this, he, Jesus, he, set aside and nailed it to the cross. At Easter, we think about Jesus, of course, being nailed to the cross, but it's also, as Colossians says, it's also our sin. It's also our darkness. It's also our weakness. It's also our addictions that are nailed to the cross. You know, there's a really interesting thing out on 105. If you go out to 105 right now and you, and you take a drive, either direction, you're gonna see these little wooden crosses that adorn the highway, right? And they're memorials. They're memorials that have been set aside to remember someone. They're there placed in remembrance. And it's our way of saying, you know what? Yes, they are gone, but they are not forgotten. Death has taken them, but they still live in our hearts. They still live in our minds. And so they become these visual reminders of the connection. And, and you'll see over time, people will go and they'll decorate them. They'll put balloons on them or flowers or notes. And it's just that way of saying, you know what? You're still in my thoughts. You're still on my heart. And, and that just got us thinking as a church, you know, why couldn't a church do that? especially at Easter time when the cross is so relevant in our thoughts. And so that's what we've done. So right now on the front lawn of Walden Church, we have a 10 foot cross. We have a 10 foot cross and it is there for you. It's there for you and it's there for this community. And so I would just say, you know what? If you feel blessed this year, if you felt blessed this year, please go and tell Jesus. Go to the cross and decorate it. You can put balloons on it. You want to put flowers on it. You want to put love letters on it. It's there for you. And in the same light, if you, if you feel like you've been walking through darkness this year, if you feel like you've been walking through pain or struggle or some sort of trial, then I would say, you know what? Go to the cross and leave your burden there. Leave something there that says, you know what, I'm, I'm giving this to God and I'm turning around and I'm walking away. If you want to ride out some sin or some, some issue that you have and you want to tuck it into one of the strings or ropes that's hanging on the cross, then go and do that. Leave a note. You know, this Easter Walden Church, our theme is it's a love story because we believe our relationship with God, our relationship with Jesus is a love story. You know, we'll, we'll ask one another as Christians, hey, how is your walk with God? How is your relationship with God, right? But when Jesus walked this earth, he called the church his bride. He called the church his bride. And so that makes the relationship very special. That makes the relationship actually a romance. It's a romance. Your relationship with God is a love story. And that's just such a beautiful thing. And so I would just offer one uh, note of reminder that for the cross outside, remember that it is public and it is private. It's public, meaning it's there for all of us to see as we drive by. It's there for everyone to go and to use as a symbol, as a, as a place of worship, but it is also private. So if people have left items there, then I would just say, leave them there. Please don't touch them. Uh, don't remove them. Don't read them. Th these, this is a, a personal moment between that person and their savior. And so just uh, give the respect that it is due. And I think it can be a wonderful addition to your worship experience this Easter. Hey, thank you for watching. I love you guys. And I'll see you next time.